up against the menace himself, Keith, the man that put that boy <laughs> Rayquaza on tilt yesterday. I think, and he also had an epic crew battle itself. I mean, he was down two stocks, had to go all on his own against Rayquaza with just one left. Mm -hmm. Somehow managed to do it. A uh, wonderful Peach player from Japan. We're very happy he's here. Absolutely, man. They travel many, many moons to get here. Oh, yeah. Like, like you said, I'm very excited that, that they're here now. He's pushing the Peach meta, man. How you feeling about Peach in this game? <laughs> Let's talk about that edge guard dance. That's right there, right there. Just, uh, <laughs> just wobbles around and tiptoes on you. Oh, my goodness. But now. speaking of long travels, uh, Key himself also had a loser's travels. Like, he took out uh, Nakat, yes. Pow Pow, and uh, MJG. Absolutely, Nakat. Top five science on the planet, Pow Pow. Or, uh, no, Nakat, excuse me. Top five Ness is on the planet, yep. Pow Pow. Top five Sonic. So he absolutely had a, a, a very uh, immense run, but regardless, man, he's here right now face off against the number eight player on the planet here in Smash 4. And right now, man, Key not doing so hot. Sitting at 101%, man, but he is nearing some raids. Now, Sheik is on the lighter end of the spectrum, man. True. One of those uh, fares from Peach offstage, I mean, even if you trade with Bouncing Fish, you don't want to be near the Blast Zone when that crown comes out. Oh, absolutely not, man. Peach trying to let people know that she doesn't <laughs> need Mario to save her life. <laughs> She's the original princess. Oh, oh, but unfortunately that up smash. Wow, absolutely, man. And that was the tipper hitbox as well. Not the easiest move in the world to land on Peach just because of how well she floats. So that was some nice precision from CLG Void. And Keen's going to have to be careful when he does that uh, jump cancel float because if he jumps too high and starts floating, then he's in that tipper range. But if he jumps shorter, then he's in that sour spot range. Absolutely. I mean, I, I guess it could be a, what you like to say, a 50-50 mix up sometimes. No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, right, but now he's doing a little chip damage. Mm -hmm. Ooh, and there, there we're talking about that crown. And it also takes just one Stitch Face or a ba -bomb or Mr. Saturn. Absolutely, to take out the ninja herself. Now, this, this is a rough one, man, because we know that Key, Peach, has some very fantastic ledge guarding capabilities. But the fact of the matter is, how many times do you see Sheik get ledge guarded? It's very, it's very, very rare. I'm talking like shiny Pokemon <laughs> rare, all right? <laughs> Ooh, trying to get these ledge trumps to go with the back air. Now, Void, Void's been doing a good job of staying alive right now, but hasn't tacked on too much percent. Absolutely not. And that's kind of the nature of Sheik. That's kind of the life you pick when you oh. pick the ninja herself. That's a re-grab situation. Forward throw? Absolutely not. I love how the Japanese players just hold down the ledge of the stage at all costs. Oh. Just, just to build that wall up. It's phenomenal. Oh, oh. the up tilt. Look at that. What are those uh, dancers that you see when they like do the, what's that one where they lift the legs? Oh. They do that dance. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow, absolutely, man. And Peach definitely doing her dance on oh, my man CLG Void. Now, CLG Void finding entryway with the reverse nair. Gets Key off stage, but unfortunately, we know Key has a fantastic <laughs> air maneuverability. He's going to find his way back. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to work so much uh, off stage pressure with the vanish from Sheik. Now, if uh, Void wants to do bouncing pitches to get to the ledge, Peach could use uh, some edge guarding tactics against that. But the vanish, especially if uh, he uses the vanish above the stage, that way there's no two frame invincibility. Absolutely. Or, excuse me, vulnerability. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll see what happens, but this match is uh, getting a little closer. And now you got Peach with Rage. Yeah, Don't want to mess with that. Absolutely. Very, very scary thing to deal with, man. Like you said before, man, floats right out there, throws out that forward there. Man, that can oh, be a dead Sheik, but it doesn't even matter. Absolutely, because, wow, Key looking like dinner, and Sheik out here <laughs> leaving tips everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> looking oh, wow. fresh. Void, good job with that uh, game one win. And I just want to touch on Void's, like, just mental composure and just his physical composure, man. Like, even when he's down in the deficit, not to say that that match was, was a uh, – Example of that, but in, in other cases though, man, when he's in the deficit, I mean, it just really shows like how strong of a top player he is. I mean, we know that he's mm. fantastic at this game, but it's all about how you stay composed mentally. Well, especially we're not in, in game. and we're not in two v uh, two out of three anymore. We're three out of five. Absolutely. So you're gonna need you're gonna you're gonna need some of that mental composure, dude. I'm not gonna say you can throw away the first game, but you can definitely use the first game as a downloading yeah. uh, practice run, if you will. Yeah. Okay, he did that. He did that. Okay, now I just gotta win. Uh, Three out of the next four. Yeah, I can do that. You gotta pace yourself mentally, man. It's an uphill battle, especially when these two meet in bracket again. Going back to Smashville. All right, working on spacing each other out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Boy, doing what he does best, man. Getting in when he can and racking up damage with that wonderful bouncing fish combo. See, it's, it's almost scary, you know, to go in on Peach with a lot of those whiff grabs because uh, Peach, excuse me, she punishes just so strong. As you see right there, down throw right into down smash. I mean, anytime Boyd whiffs something, he is just there to answer back. And once again, Boyd 
putting up a large lead at the start of the game. Yeah, absolutely. And he's also doing a wonderful job just in the neutral, how he's fox trotting, crawling with Sheik, mm -hmm. uh, key, and catching Key on some rolls. Yeah, kind of taking a page out of Key's book, if you will. Wanting to control all aspects of the stage. Oh, wow, and Key hitting the Mary Poppins back to the ledge. Very nice. <laughs> Now, one uh, speaking of up smash tippers, you also got to watch out for Peach's up smash. That is also true. That up smash has claimed many victims in these last four days here. Because while Sheik, play Sheik players can be a sca uh, scared of rage, yeah. but they're also afraid of that percent being too high because there's no guaranteed follow-up combos. Like gotcha. just right there, mm. oh, he's able to get the up air. Of course, not enough percent on either of the two for that to seal the deal. And here I am thinking that we patched that. <laughs> it's still here. No. <laughs> Don't tell, don't tell Nintendo. Absolutely not. And they're here somewhere. Boy, boy, just looking at the back right now. Shh, quiet. Right. <laughs> oh, there's oh, the dance that we were talking is. about. She's, she's putting the heels on her. Very nice. Ledge Trump forces a re-grab. Finds coverage back on the stage oh. with Bouncing Fish. Okay, wants the needles to Bouncing Fish. Unfortunately, Peach a little oh. out of range for that. Oh, that good tech. Yeah, absolutely. The Peach Bomb almost claiming the life of Void here. Oh, hitting the oh. Mary Poppins. Oh, very nice. Oh. Okay, could use the side B to get back. That. Wow. Not sure I understand what the stalling out there was for, but but hey, racked up 92%. Peach still in this. Absolutely. And now Boyd playing the needle game. He understands his, his needles have been nerfed quite a bit. So stages like Final Destination, stages like uh, Battlefield, where obviously the stage is uh, significantly longer, the needles won't go as far. But on Smashville, he has a little bit easier here, man. Okay, very nice. Trying to find entry with those short hop bears. Nice reverse and air gets canceled out by back air. I think he needs to start using more uh, forward airs and back airs when they're on the neutral on the stage. Yes, sir. Whereas off stage, use those down airs um, because on stage, Sheik's just baiting those forward airs and the up smash. And that floating down air isn't going to be too effective against Sheik. Absolutely not. Sheik, one of the masters of not being ledge guarded in this game, is going to take a little bit more than that to take out the ninja here. Okay, here's another Nair, getting her where she oh. wants to, but sneaks in a fair and the DI game. Too impeccable right now. Here we go, using that down air, try to catch the two frames. Oh, the sour spot of the up smash isn't going to do it. Actually, but still sends the message, letting them know that it's coming, man. If you don't stand your P's and Q's, I'll find a way to leave a tip. Very nice empty oh. hop. Baited the air dodge, try to get a follow-up with the up air. He's going to go for the back is throw. It? That should yeah. be enough to okay. take the stock there. Okay, now this is going to be an uphill battle for Sheik because, yes, Sheik is fresh right now. All her moves have been reset, obviously. No oh. stale. But right as I say, that finds a way to sneak in an up special on key. We all know Sheik has a bit of an issue killing. And with somebody so evasive like he's Peach, it could be an uphill climb for boys. Oh. Try to go golfing with that uh, driver. Absolutely. That he did. Ooh. I'm liking these uh, these mix-ups and follow-ups by Peach. Yeah. Oh, gets a turn up. He tries to do a dance on her head. Not allowing oh. that. Sneaks in a fair and looking like melee Sheik. Just not get her clear across the screen. <laughs> Never really winning against Sheik. She nope. just has too many tools for a comeback. Yeah, she does. But her inability to kill definitely started to show towards the tail end. That's key. Started bringing that back. Started throwing his rage around like you spoke about a moment ago. I like both these players' composure. Yeah. Boyd not thinking, hey, I got this. This is going to be easy. Just need to win one more. Mm -hmm. He's just sitting there like, okay, where are we going for game three? Right. Going back to Smashville? Can't be mad at that. See not coming. I don't, I don't want to say I'm mad at that, but if I'm if I'm key, I lost two times on this stage. Yeah. Maybe a mix-up on a different stage? Yeah, true. I know Japan really likes Smashville and uh, Lilat a lot. So we'll see. Okay. Very reminiscent of the last two games. Boy, early on, finding entry with the short hop fair. Still trying to use those floating uh, down airs, but but that's where he was uh, doing really well in the game uh, game two. Getting grab mix-ups on Sheik. Absolutely, and it's not until you see Sheik fight against a slugger, just a powerhouse character, somebody like Peach in certain cases, that you realize she really doesn't do a lot of damage. I mean, yeah, she can get in, she can combo to death, but I mean, if she's not chaining it, what's the point? Because as True. you've seen right there, she found entry right out the gate with those short hop bears. But, I mean, all it took was just one down throw, down smash for Key to just be back in the game. Okay, missing the ledge trumpet. Walks right up, gets the grab. Down throw. Finds an up air. Yeah, not going to kill just yet, but Key's definitely uh, got to mix up something. Yeah. He's been adding on some damage. More damage than he was the last two games before he lost the stock. But 
it'd be really nice to see Key take the first stock in this match. Absolutely. All right. Ooh, Boyd using the pair to get back on stage. That he is. That's a very good coverage tool. Does find a way oh. to sneak in the up air, and I guess we didn't pass. No, I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sheik don't need any more nerves, baby. Boyd's, I'm trying to tell you. Rod the Dutch, what are you talking about? <laughs> hey, I, I ain't heard nothing. I ain't seen nothing. No. <laughs> okay. Holding down the ledge of the stage, trying to find his way back. Boy, very nice job using the needles. Key, not allowing any of that, though. Uses the up special to get back on. Wow. And he's a bouncing fish in the process. I really like how Void's just staying composed in this whole match. Not doing any risky rolls or throwing out smash attacks. You know, even Key's not doing a lot of fishing himself. Absolutely not, man. You can't fish against characters like, <laughs> like she. Oh, my goodness. Oh. Okay, very nice. Finally. Finally, excuse me, finding entry to punish that up smash. I don't think that would have hit Sweet anyway, but again, still sending a message that they're coming sooner or later. And we all know a character like Peach is pretty easy to combo. I mean, we've seen Abadango versus uh, uh, Sam Sora at, at the CCC event a True. few months ago. So we know that I mean, if you're combo orientated, Peach, you're in trouble. You know, this is probably the closest it's been in the three games so far. That it has. Only down 40%, but he has definitely shown he's got some combo game with Peach. That he does. Okay, oh. very nice. Not allowing needles to bouncy fish at all. Key's maneuverability off stage. 10 out of 10, my friend. Very wonderful stuff here, but it is, as great as Key's been off stage, I would like to see him get some stage control. But that's so hard to do against Sheik. That, that's that's basically asking someone to, hey, do you mind climbing Mount Everest for me right quick? <laughs> Especially in the hands of somebody as talented as CLG Boyd. I mean, he's not. C I mean, he's CLG for a reason, you know what I'm saying? Ooh. Oh, nice oh. battery right there on the up smash. I definitely understand why he was going for it, though. Has a bit of a scooping hitbox, so she would have got too close. That could have been huge damage on Boyd. Finding a down throw. Still trying to get that up smash. Yeah. Dash oh. attack? Oh. I mean, if dash attack is about to kill at this percent, then you got to be really careful. Oh! oh, very nice. But you know what, though? I'm not mad at the down <laughs> smash because down smash did recently get a buff, if I'm not mistaken. When she it lost the 50-50, yep. she got the buff on the down smash. True. How many times do you see people throw smash attacks with Sheik? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> come on, brother. <laughs> like he could buff him. Uh, Sakurai could buff him as much as he wants, but still, Sheik players ain't going to be throwing him out. Absolutely. But a wonderful return ace right there with the tennis racket. Absolutely, man. That's why Peach, Peach is in Mario Tennis. Wow. I couldn't tell if that was a smash match or a game of Wii Sports. <laughs> I didn't know what we was looking at, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get into the next match here. Final Destination. Boy, Key, you guys know the matchup. Here we go. Well, this is going to be a little bit interesting because Smashville um, is actually a very small main stage. That it is. Uh, not very uh, wide, but Final Destination, this is going to give the players a lot more room to move around, to, to get space, mm -hmm. to maybe try uh, some more unsafe stuff because they have more area to stay on stage or catch tech reads and tech rolls and things like that. Yeah. So we'll see what we get on uh, Final Destination. And obviously, there's no platforms. So. That there is not, man. So uh, in terms of like that tipper up smash that boy just landed so proficiently in the last few matches, he might not get that with ease here. But I expect to see a lot more down throw up air um, from him as well. So OK, here we go. Finding more entry, boy, very nice. You know, more short hot pairs, even throwing in a backer. They're trying to get a little mix up going, and I'm not mad at them. Key sitting in the passenger seat here, 96%. But we all know, especially looking at these last few sets, what Peach can do with a little raise on her behalf. Plus, the, you can never underestimate those turnips. Just cannot. like when you're winning against Game and Watch, that nine can come out anytime. Listen, man, the turnip is always real. I'm I've been trying to tell you. <laughs> okay, gets the last hit of the up air, not enough to connect and take oh. the stock. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even see that grenade. I didn't either. Boy, such a crafty player. And you can actually use Final Destination uh, to some character's advantage. Uh, for instance, Robin on this stage can charge the Arc Thunder, mm -hmm. and when the screen goes white, you can't tell uh, what uh, Robin's been charging. So kind of using that grenade with the same thing, just throwing it out there, and very difficult to see. Yeah, oh, wow, very nice, avoiding the Vanish. Okay, a lot of rolling going on. We're trying to reset the neutral here. They both find themselves back center stage. But unfortunately, very, very safe spot to be. And unfortunately, Key's down 100% right now. That he is. Ooh. is most unfortunate. See, that's what I like. Doing the short hop float with the fair. And on shield, that's pretty safe. But that unfortunately, that is. fair in the air from Sheik is uh, pretty dangerous. That it is. 
Again, that fair at high percent starting to look like melee Sheik's fair. Just, I mean, seriously, just, oh my god. Yep. Oh, wow, no no lead snap. Key there with the with the very questionable punish there. Well, and even if it, he did a uh, lead snap, that was actually a re-grab situation. Yeah. Uh, so I think that's why Peach went for the down tilt. Oh, oh very nice. Can't go golfing. Absolutely, man. Look like Mario Golf out here, man. <laughs> <laughs> Playing all those sports. Now watch out for that Peach frying pan. Yeah. Oh. Look like <laughs> if you felt the cast iron frying pan, that thing weighs like 50 pounds. Listen, I mean, we all got a grandma or two, man. It's gotten a little crazy at times. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was talking about earlier. Void using a wonderful job with the crawling and the fox trotting with sheep. Yeah, absolutely, man. Void definitely knows how to hold down a lead, as we see right here. Crawling in and out, just really outspacing Sam. And it's really rough, or excuse me, not Sam Key, because you know, Key is one of those guys, you know, when he's winning, he likes to space you out. He likes that short hop all the way fair. He likes to use his bear. But the fact of the matter is, Boyd doesn't have to approach at this point anymore. Ooh. Oh, very nice. Spot wow. on with those air dodges, he is. Oh, but the bouncing fish. Oh, still going to live. Okay. Up uh, back here. Okay. Yeah, very nice. Went as low as he could without having to throw out the up special. But Boyd with the very nice download. Looking to not fall uh, to the same guy that Rayquaza did day one. Solid 3-1 victory for Boyd right there. But um, true shout out to Key coming out here all the way from Japan. Absolutely. Um, all the way to Michigan, which is, that's got to be like literally the world, like right, halfway is. around the world for them. Absolutely. It has to be, man. And I couldn't be mad at them. I mean, this is the third time in a row that Japan has beaten us in crew battles. Genesis 3. Super Smash Con and now the Big House Five, so they've they've taken our biggest grassroots event. And in some ways, if you win the crew battle, the singles really matter. Dude, they really <laughs> matter, brother. I mean, the singles really matter, and then of course doubles is for fun. I mean, I'm a doubles advocate though. I'm a doubles I